Yeah. In our last video, our whole yard was flooded. And that was a pretty crazy event, but it cleared up quickly and the water's gone. It actually went down after about two days and everything was back to normal. Now we are really muddy right now, as you can see, because we keep getting rain and we've been getting some work done and that's where the mud came from. So let us tell you what's going on today. When we bought this property, it was covered in a beautiful canopy of trees, large old oak trees, and they just sprawled over the house. It was actually really cool looking, but not cool in practicality because yeah. you don't really want trees over your house when you, if you can help it. Especially now, these huge limbs. If they fell, they would have been very damaging. Yeah. So we didn't want any limbs falling on the house. We didn't want any of that kind of damage, the potential for damage. And also the shade leads to like mold and mildew and just The house like, never gets light inside of it. It's just always dark and dank and... Now we totally yeah. get why they like the trees here. Those trees kept the house so cool. Every day, all day, we haven't been hot at all. So I totally get that, that it's it's good for the heat to keep the house cool. But we just didn't feel comfortable with it. And in fact, before we even bought this house, I told Ashley that we would clear the trees away because yeah. Ashley had one big thing when she was looking for a house. She said she wanted it to be in the sun. She wanted light. We came from a property that had trees around the house and it was always shady. And I always she... felt like I was just living in a shadow, like the whole time. And when I showed her this property, because I was really the one that pushed for this property. Ooh, what's on me? Just a beetle. She wasn't sold on it. She said, no, it's all trees. Yeah. It's too dark. It's too shady. She didn't want to go through that again. She wanted to move down south and get the sun. She wanted to see light. She wanted the house yeah. to feel open. It really makes the house feel like dark and dingy. Like you're living in some cave or something. And I didn't like that. But I saw the potential and I, I did say, we can clear the trees. We'll do it first thing, we'll just get rid of them. We'll, we'll open it up, it'll be beautiful and sunny. I didn't want to overlook a property if it was something that we could fix. And I felt like this was something we could fix. So this was on my to-do list since day one and we finally got it done. We had somebody come in and clear the trees. So the before and after is crazy. Before, like I said, the trees were just swallowing like the house. Like fingers, like this. Just like, and like that. And the after is insane. So let's walk around and see the destruction. So here is the end of our house and look back here. We went from having almost no space, it was all grown in with huge trees. Look how open it is now. This is huge. And yes, wet, but I mean, it's, it's looking really awesome. I can't believe the transformation here. We had a great big fat tree right here in front of the porch. And we had another one right behind the AC unit back there next to the house. Check this out. I know it looks a little messy here. We're getting it cleaned up. But look how open it is. We can see the sky. Look how beautiful. Now there was actually a tree right here. This was another big one and you wouldn't even know it's here. We had all the stumps ground, so they're all gone. But it was growing up. It was kind of an ugly tree and the branches were coming over and they were coming this way toward the house. And these branches off this big tree were going this way and this way. You can see up here, it was rubbing on that tree. It was just a big mess, but they actually reached so far over that they were over our house. I, I can't even imagine. That's like, yeah, like 50 feet horizontal. It's like insane how big the branches shot over. So we got rid of that tree. We wanted to keep this one, but we just had two of these big branches trimmed because they were coming this way. And it opened up this really cool cypress tree. So I'll try to show you guys. It just goes up, up, up. It's like so straight and tall. We've never had a tree like this on our property. I know it's because it's wet here, but that's really awesome. It's just, I mean, it's an amazing tree. 
So we're so happy that we could save it and uncover it. It was hidden, you couldn't see it. The top, the canopy was completely blocked by the other trees. So hopefully that does better now. And back here, check out the backyard. What a transformation this is. I mean, do you guys remember? There was a huge tree right in the middle, right, right here. It was like, it was like right here. And it created so much shade back here. And now, look how big our backyard looks. I mean, aside from the pond, don't get fooled, that's not grass, that's duckweed. So from the back, you can just see how open the sky is. We had a circle of light coming down. And we also took out some trees in this area. Uh, there was two of them in here, right? Yeah. That we took out. And the reason we're doing that is because there was little trees that were kind of scrubby in here. And our plan is to make a driveway that loops like this. So a circle driveway coming through here. So we made way for that for a future project. But as you can see, it sure did leave a mess. Now I just want to mention that we're not just taking down trees with no regard to the nature. We really like to work with nature whenever we can and we just have to also protect our house and make the yard usable. So we do plan on planting new trees. Yeah. I, I definitely want to plant some palm trees because you know when you live in Florida, <laughs> palm trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to do some flower trees and we'll just we'll plant stuff. some new stuff so yeah. we're not just taking we're gonna give and also um the property is loaded with trees and we're gonna try to maintain them we tried keeping everything we could there will be a lot of small trees coming down in the future but we're trying to preserve the big ones we're definitely going to keep the big ones that are left yeah and get rid of like the the vines and the low brush and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i just i know some people are you know don't like cutting down trees, but sometimes you have to do it. It was it was a little sad to see the big ones go, but... They shouldn't have even been allowed to grow. Yeah. Like, right next to the house, the way they were. Oh, and that's something I forgot to tell you. We had two large trees taken down that were literally right next to our septic tank within three feet of it. Just huge trees just right on top of it. No good. They had to go... They should have never been allowed there, like Ashley said. Mm -hmm. So... In total, we had 11 trees taken down and two big branches. So it was a pretty big job. And all the stumps ground. Yeah. Hopefully we don't disrupt the wildlife too much. Wade is still here and hasn't left even with all the work going on. We still have all kinds of birds and wildlife because of our water here. Ashley even captured a really rare one the other day. Yeah, like the coolest bird ever showed up. I look outside and there was a light pink bird in our water on the edge of it and I'm looking at it and I realized it was a spoonbill and it's like I thought that was so cool yeah we've never seen one of those <laughs> in real life like you don't expect to find that in your backyard so that was a pretty amazing experience and this property has been an amazing experience for us despite some of the flaws like flooding it comes with some really good benefits we're really liking the location, we're enjoying the house, and the wildlife is crazy. We got ibises, wood storks, herons. Cranes, spoonbill, we got Wade the duck. Yeah, it's been fun to look. We had the armadillos, they left, that's sad. It's been fun to see, we got all kinds of lizards and frogs and everything, it's, it's really neat. The one thing I don't like is the golden orb spiders. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like any spiders, so. Mm -hmm. And in a previous video, one of our first videos we did when we were doing a cleanup of the property, we actually heard a, a, a bird making a sound. What makes that noise? We didn't know what it was at the time, but you guys let us know. We have these really cool barred owls here. And that's going to be one of the sad things about these trees coming down because they used to actually land in these big trees. 
around our house. Ashley actually captured one of them on film one day when she was out here, so that was really neat. Um, yeah, that was cool. So I would call this the beginning of the transformation because this is where you're really starting to see the difference. Yeah, we've started some renovation on the house and we're starting to level up the, the piers and everything, but you don't see that work. You don't yeah. see the difference. This is where you really start seeing the impact. Because it's so dramatic. And I think a lot of people underestimate the power of property cleanup. It transforms the whole feel of the property. Yep. So we're happy to do that. Like we said at the beginning, we're going to be working inside and outside, doing what we can when we can. We're happy with the results so far, but got a lot of mud to deal with. So I guess that's the update for now. Everything is going fine in the house. We're making slow progress, getting the piers fixed, and we'll be showing you guys that soon. And then hopefully we can start to working on some more fun stuff. Mm -hmm. But for now, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye. how much we got in that tiny little area. Just right there. That place is littered with cans. 